First of all, a big thank you to the thousands of people around the world who have already downloaded our Memory Palace US History app. The purpose of this video is to give you a quick guided tour of the software and its main features. All you have to do to learn US history with our app is play around in a cool little world and get to know where stuff is. It's really that easy. And because you're remembering an experience of a space, it makes it very hard to forget. So let's jump right in. Here we have a map of the continental United States. On it is a route with nine stops. Each stop contains five items, one for each president. So the nine stops contain all 45 US presidents. Today we're gonna to be sticking to the first stop, the West Coast. As you can see, there are five items on a platform. All you have to do is remember these five items and you will remember the names of the first five presidents. You can turn the names on and off by clicking on the button on the top right corner of the app. So here we have a man washing a ton for Washington, the biblical Adam for Adams, Jeff Peanut Butter for Jefferson, a mad son for Madison, and Marilyn Monroe for Monroe. Note that you may find it helpful to make a little story for yourself to tie these elements together. For example, the man washing the ton gets some water on the toe of Adams, who's jumping up to get an apple because he wants to make a Jeff Peanut Butter and Apple sandwich. And that makes the son next to him very mad because he thinks that's disgusting. But he cools off when he sees Marilyn Monroe. One of the cool things about learning in this way is that the information is symmetrically encoded and indexable in your mind. Meaning that you can remember the presidents just as easily forwards as backwards by just traveling in your mind's eye. And if somebody asks you to name a specific number of president, you can find that president by just scanning ahead in groups of five. But there's a lot more to the app than that because we've quoted more U.S. history than just the presidents. For example, let's start with the dates. Wherever you see a big red flag, that means that there was a change in century. So here we know that 1800 was with Adams, because he's standing next to a big red flag. We also have little blue flags that correspond to the changes in half century. So when someone gives you a date, you can estimate who the president was pretty closely. Next you may have noticed the clouds. Each cloud represents a war or conflict with over a thousand casualties. These small clouds are individual wars. In this case, the Revolutionary War, which was fought by Washington, and the War of 1812, fought by Madison. The big cloud over the entire period is slavery, which kept 1.1 million people in bondage during this period. The thin cloud underneath the slavery cloud represents the Indian Wars. Next, we can also see data about the territorial expansion of the country. The height of the platform on which the presidents are standing corresponds to the land area of the U.S. at a given time. For example, under Jefferson you can see that the Louisiana Purchase greatly expanded the size of the U.S. from 0.84 million square miles to 1.73 million square miles. You can also view the major civil rights milestones by clicking on the sun icon, the average gross national product per platform by clicking on the dollar icon, and you can learn some useful geography by clicking on the Cartesian globe icon. The app is available for free download by following the links below. The first 10 presidents and data are included for free, and you can unlock all the remaining presidents and data inside the app. If you want to learn more about memory palaces, or build your own custom palaces for US history or any subject you want, you can do it on our Memory Palace platform available at memorypalace.com. It's free to join. Try the tutorial available in the link below. We welcome your input, so please let us know how we're doing in the comments below. Thank you, and we hope you have a memorable day.